hey y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl frizzy curls back again with another youtube video today i'm going to show you how i made this wig hat or hat wig whichever one sounds better you're going to need a hat of your choice preferably not your favorite one if this will be your first time making one so i just used a hat that was simple and that i haven't worn yet of course you'll need some hair as well so i got this hair from my local beauty supply store but you can use any tracks of your choice whether it's synthetic or real hair but this is three bundles of body wave hair in the color 1b by shake and go and the last thing you'll need is a glue gun and some glue sticks okay so getting started first i flip my hat inside out so it's easier to glue the tracks on and i'm actually going to glue the tracks around the perimeter of the sweatband and around the arch of the hat in the back and to be honest, I started with the longest bundles because I thought it was going to create layers. But since I'm doing it kind of inside out, it was kind of pointless. But either way, it'll work. So all I do is measure a piece of the track to the hat, cut the track and glue it down. And I basically do this for the whole hat. So now I know some of y'all are probably wondering why did I use clear glue sticks? Originally I wanted to use black glue sticks but I couldn't remember if I had any. I couldn't find any. So I went to Hobby Lobby and they were closed that day that I filmed this. I went to Michael's. Michael's didn't carry any black glue sticks. So after those two store runs I really didn't care anymore. So I'm just going to use the clear glue sticks. Next you might ask why not just use hair glue? Well being that hair glue is kind of thin I just thought it was going to bleed through the hat. So I would have been pissed if it did and I basically would have had to throw the hat away and start over. But I do have an idea that might work better than the hot glue gun when I do this again because I will be doing this again. So if you want to see that video, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. And as y'all can see, I have a t-shirt tucked in the hat. So if you guys don't have a mannequin head, which I do have one, but I just didn't decide to use it for this video. But if you don't have a mannequin head, you can always use a t-shirt or a towel to tuck in the inside just to have a firm hold on the hat while you're gluing down the tracks. So at this time I've glued all the tracks to about the middle of the hat. I'm not going to add any more close to the top or around the front because the focus is really on the back and the sides. But anyway, I'm just going to add some more tracks in between to make it fuller. And once I do that, I'll show you how I put the hat on.
All right, so now it's just putting on the hat wig or wig hat. And at the time of this video, I still had majority of my real hair. And this was before I cut off any of my blue. So I have my hair braided underneath and I just added a wig cap. All I do is put the hat on like a regular wig and make sure no hair is tucked inside the hat. And once it's on, I'll pull the hair on the sides to cover my ears. I brush the hair out and that's basically it. Y'all, this is the perfect run to the store, film a quick video, or answer a FaceTime call hair. It's affordable, it's easy to do. So if you want more of these videos, go ahead and like this video and comment below what color, length, style, or texture you would want to see me do next. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and go ahead and check out some of my other videos too. But as always, I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!